Hello friends, today I am going to show you how to root the HTC Desire 620G and how to install the clockwork mode or custom recovery for HTC Desire 620G. So, to root the phone, you need to have a PC with fully loaded drivers and uh, and a Kingo root executing file which will be available on Google. So, let's get let's get started now i'm moving on to pc okay now the king or root execution file will be like this will be like this just run it as administrator just run it as administrator just go and the permission that's it now a window shows like this now before doing this what you need to do is enabling debugging mode okay how i'll show you how to enable usb debugging mode just go into settings now just go into about phone about phone and then go into build number and just tap the build number for seven times just tap the build, build number for seven times then just come back now now just go to about phone just go to about phone there you will see an option called there you will see an option called de developer options developer options you will see like this just click on that one then go go and click on usb debugging then go and click on usb debugging that's it the phone's part is over now just connect to the battery now just connect the phone by enabling usb debugging mode now in the phone you will get this message box just click on this one just click on this and just click on ok you will get that one in the phone okay after that here your device will be shown just click on root right here just click on a option called root right here that's it it will take nearly 5 to 10 minutes to root after rooting that's it it will automatically complete the routing now i'll show you how to install the clockwork mode or custom recovery this is the biggest part and this can be done in two ways this can be done in two ways first way is by using sp flash tool is by using sp flash tool i have already shown this in my other tutorial now i'll briefly explain about this just run it run this as administrator run flash tool as administrator flash tool as administrator just grant yes for this you need to have a previously built original rom even i have the original rom i have given in the links i have given the links in my previous videos just check it out or log into my or just join to my facebook account even that has been given in my links and now just load the scatter file just load the scatter file this scatter this scatter file will be in the downloaded uh, rom okay do not worry just load the scatter file then you will see a picture right here with all loaded with all loaded files right here now to load only recovery just uncheck all just uncheck all okay just tick on recovery just tick on recovery and show this and just click on right here just click on this uh, tab okay this shows this window this shows a window where the file was where the file was there okay now download the raw download the recovery which i have given in the description okay just download that one and uh, just go to downloads and show that the recovery file okay 
then just click on download and remove the remove the battery in the phone and connect the phone without the battery that's it you are going to see a red bar right here if the if you don't have uh, the drivers just i'll show other video you can download the drivers from there okay that's it first part is over now second part now we'll move on to second part the second part for this second part you need to have root with installed super su with installed super su i'll show the procedure in the description okay please do not worry just download the mtk droid tools i'll leave all the links in the description do not worry okay just run this as administrator just run this as administrator and uh, now enable usb debugging on the phone just connect to the battery now enable usb debugging on the phone and just connect to the battery and just connect to the phone okay that's it you can see right here the phone was detected initially you will not have the screen you will have like a yellow or a blue bar just go ahead and click on root right here then it will ask super su permission you need to have installed super su i'll show i'll show the procedure in the description do not worry okay then after that a, a small window will uh, appear right here just click on okay it will ask the super permission that's it okay it then it this box will turn into green if not if this got stuck right here just plug out the usb cable and just plug in again okay that's it after that just go into root backup and recovery no 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 before that just backup your imei just backup your imei because if the if the rom was not correct or the rom's recovery was different your imei your imei will be gone okay just backup that one how to backup just click on imei or nvram just click on backup that one that this is gonna backup okay then after that just go into root backup just click on to use boot from phone just click on recovery and boot after that it will uh, prompt a dialog like uh, you want do you want to install clockwork mode recovery just click on yes then it will automatically reboot into recovery mode okay please do not worry that's it thank you please like and subscribe